Welcome everyone back to the Real News Network. I'm Jared Ball here in Baltimore. Glenn Ford, executive editor and founder of Black Agenda Report, joins us once again for his Ford Report, where Glenn, I understand you want to tell us your take on the Flint, Michigan scandal that is evolving, emerging, and ever uh, taking shape uh, right now. Uh, with your permission, you know, the Democrats are trying to milk the Flint River catastrophe for all it's politically worth. They've scheduled a Democratic presidential debate for Flint on March 6th, and that's uh, two days before the Michigan primary. Uh, Michigan's Republican governor, uh, Rick Snyder, uh, this week, or in fact, uh, this week is refusing uh, to attend or testify before a Democratic congressional uh, panel. Uh, they want him to answer for his uh, failures in Flint, including switching Flint over, or his uh, emergency financial manager switching Flint over to the polluted waters of the Flint River. Uh, that was Snyder's deal. His uh, emergency financial manager regime is a is a pillar of his administration. Uh, but the Democrats can't get away from the manager regime themselves because a previous governor, Jennifer Granholm, also used those emergency financial managers. She used them uh, to disenfranchise black folks uh, in their uh, relationship to the public schools. And the National Democratic Administration is just as guilty as as the Republicans are when it comes to take a takeovers uh, of the public school systems. Uh, emergency financial managers are not just a Republican domain, they're also part of the Democratic uh, initiative as well. Uh, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency uh, under President Obama failed utterly to protect the citizens of Flint, Michigan and their water. And it's true that the regional director of the EPA resigned, but it hasn't gone further than that. And the federal investigation's underway. The Republicans are trying to get ahead of this very damaging issue. Uh, a special counsel to the Michigan Attorney General said that it's possible that manslaughter charges could be brought if anybody dies as a result of gross negligence in Flint, Michigan. Uh, the reason they have a special counsel looking into that is because the Michigan State Attorney General is busy defending the Republican governor, Mick uh, Rick Snyder, uh, against lawsuits that have been brought against him by residents of Flint, Michigan. So the Republicans are in a very bad light and the Democrats are trying to find an advantage. Uh, however, the Democrats are going to have a problem showing that they are the party that is most capable of defending black and poor people from the depredations of disaster uh, capitalism. Uh, after Katrina back in 2005, the Democrats themselves held no hearings. The Republicans held hearings, but the Democrats didn't allow their members to participate participate in those hearings. Uh, they were afraid that if they did, the Democratic Party would look too black. And the Democrats were looking to take over the House in 2006. Uh, so they wanted to abstain from uh, Katrina. But what's different today is that there is an emerging grassroots movement on the ground. And that compels the Democrats to behave as if black lives really do matter after all. And that's the difference between the Flint River catastrophe and Katrina. Well, Flint, Michigan's perhaps most famous uh, resident or, or you know, well, one most famously known to be from Flint, Michigan, uh, the, the white filmmaker uh, Michael Moore has been engaged in protests. Perhaps that will help uh, bring attention to the Black Lives Matter activists in the face of a, a, a white, uh, a famous white uh, person being involved in calling attention to this. But speaking of famous white people also, uh, and, you know, Hillary Clinton has brought uh, attention to this issue and is looking to make political hay of this, saying that she is the person that can bring uh, proper attention and recompense to the people, uh, particularly the black and poor people in, there in Flint, Michigan, uh, but I take it that you're not moved by, the, by those claims uh, either. 
I'm not moved, but uh, Bernie Sanders has one-upped uh, Hillary Clinton uh, by calling on Governor Snyder uh, to resign. So let's see if the stakes get higher and higher as we move towards that uh, March 6th Democratic debate. Just one quick general question. There were there, there, there was reports of, of emails being leaked that show that officials there likely knew of the potential for disease uh, to to become rampant as a result of this this water crisis. What do you think that this says, in addition to what you've already said, about the state of affairs politically in this country and the, the ability of uh, dominant political entities to uh, offer proper redress? Well, the emergency financial management system itself shows that there was a concerted effort on the part of the Republican administration to disenfranchise, to silence, to make totally powerless the black population. Uh, what I think the emails show is that uh, these uh, Republican officials actually took some degree of crude pleasure at being able to uh, thwart uh, the <laughs> certainly right aspirations of Flint River folks uh, to drink clean water. Well, Glenn Ford, as always, we appreciate you taking the time to join us for your Ford Report here at The Real News. Thank you. And thanks again to all of you for watching and for all involved. Again, I'm Jared Ball here in Baltimore saying, as Fred Hampton used to say to you, we say peace if you're willing to fight for it. So peace, everybody, and we'll catch you in the whirlwind.